What is up guys, it's your boy Rez and here we go. We got another awesome, 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 awesome tutorial. I don't, really, I don't know. It might be awesome for some, it might be more awesomer for others. Uh, but this is going to be an After Effects tutorial. And what we is going to do is we're going to open up our After Effects. Okay, I was about to say. Chop chop. Alright. Now, as you guys can see, I have a song in here. This is going to be on the audio, audio bars that I did from the preview. And I have the same song in here. It's a uh, Mayo, and the song is Paradise. That's an uh, awesome, awesome title for yourself, you know. You are a condiment, sir. But anyways, it's a good song. I love it. Name just makes me hungry. So let's go ahead and drag our song into our new comp. And uh, I'm gonna open up my waveform because I like to. And it's LL. And here we have our song. Uh, that was like the worst part of the song. <laughs> um, anyways, let's go ahead and also make a new, new solid. Control Y and name this audio. Now, let's go ahead and go to our effects. Go to generate, wherever that is. Go to audio spectrum. Or you can, you know, audio, audio. What? I guess it's not in there. Anyway. I was going to say search it up, but, um,. Yeah, just find audio spectrum somehow. Um, and then here you go. We are done with this tutorial. You know, you don't move it. Nah, dang it. I didn't move it. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at all this stuff on here. First off, we want to make our audio layer. The song. Automatically, we have some, you know, activity on the lines. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know stretch the stretch these two points. Don't do this by hand. You, know. you want to make start point zero by 360, and then twelve. If I could type, you know, <laughs> 1280 by 360. So your start point is 0 by 360 and then your end point is 1280 by 360. Um, we don't have any masking so we don't need to use a path. Uh, start frequency, you know, this is, I keep mine kind of low so mine's probably going to stay around 100. Uh, my end frequency is going to probably stay around 2000 as well. Uh, you can mess with these things if you want, no matter what kind of lines. Uh, make it really low, obviously, for just that kind of waveform or whatever. If you want these kind of lines, like kind of big blobs, um, then you go right ahead. I'm not gonna do anything about it. Um, but I don't want that. I don't want that at all. That's really. I want like really technical looking lines of mine. I'm gonna raise mine up to like. You know what? Forget it. We're gonna double it. We go to. 4,000. Come on, Jason. 4,000. Raise your frequency bands to, you know, however many you want. This is your number of, you know, your number of lines that are going to be visible. Um, if you look at it right now, I actually have a full-on, like, audio waveform, basically, <clears throat> compared to, like, how the song, like, on your waveform looks and the comp compared to this, you know. Pretty cool. Basically, kind of like you have, you can make like recreate a waveform. Um, let's go ahead and just drag that up to like 200 or 250. Maximum height. It's kind of self-explanatory. It makes your lines like bigger. The louder the song, the bigger the feedback basically on your way your audio spectrum. Uh, I'm gonna make mine like a thousand or something like that. Audio duration, we're gonna keep that same. Audio offset, don't mess with it. That will uh, uh, 
sync it, or like off sync it, your lines will not be synced up with your waveform. So we don't want to mess with that. Thickness, um, this is basically just how big you want it. Uh, how big you want your lines, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to make mine pretty small. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I woke up like an hour ago and I'm still trying to wake up. Um, but we got all this good stuff going. No. Uh, you can change the colors if you want. Like me, I love blue. I love blue things. Um, I'm gonna make my outside white. You know. Softness is basically, my bad, I didn't explain softness, I didn't think I have to, but softness is basically going to feather it on the outside to make it more, you know, soft looking. Now, what else is there? Um, that's basically it, you know, hue, you can mess with your hue, and what that's going to do is obviously, you know, make multicolored lines, but I don't want that. Another thing, dynamic hue, we don't need that, don't need that. Um, this is what we do need. Display options. Digital is your default. Analog lines is kind of like those uh, heartbeat monitors. So there's there's other things that you can do with this. Um, there's your heartbeat monitor. Analog dots. And that is, you know, as it says, those are full on like little dots. Um, I'm going to keep mine on digital for right now. And then there's the side. Side A is all the lines are just going to go up and down. Or just, they're just going to go up. And then, you know, side B, obviously, they're going to drop, be dropping down. Um, there is one thing you can do that's really cool with this. Like, now that we got our options all so you can you know, if you guys have messed with it and you guys got everything perfect, now you just want to make something, you know, cool with this, you know, to kind of go along with your, like, song or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of thought I'd mess around with that. Um, uh, maybe my maximum has a little bit bigger. Alright. So now, as you guys can see is we have all this really cool looking stuff. Oh my gosh, I messed it up. No, I didn't. Okay, one thing is I want you to take your start point, uh, that one, make your three, turn the 360 into a zero. I don't know why I'm dragging it, but, uh, and your end point is also gonna be a zero. So basically your start point's gonna be zero, zero, and your end point's gonna be 1280 by zero. Um, I want you to actually duplicate your audio layer, make your start point 0 by, you know, 720. Ugh, can never get it, just, just perfect. And again, 1280 by 720 for your end point. And then change your side B to side A. And that's going to give you a double side of, you know, awesomeness. And if you want to make, you know, analog lines on one, or analog sides on on both of them, uh, that's completely awesome. You know, this is... Well, well that's what this is. Jeez, I wish I wasn't yawning so much. I feel bad every time I yawn in a tutorial. Like, oh, you guys are so boring. Don't know how to do this. No, I'm kidding. I, I don't ever mess with anything about the, like audio. So, uh, this is pretty awesome. I'm kind of psyched that I even figured it out. Um, you can do this sort of thing. You know, put a logo, put some text in the middle. You know, do whatever. Uh, we're actually going to delete our audio or one of the audios. And we're going to bring them right back up to the middle. So make them both 360s again. And what we're going to do, help change this back to digital first. Uh, make your side, side A. And I want you to go to your audio layer, 
Could either. Uh, ellipse tool. Go to the middle. And, oh my gosh. Make a circle. Perfectly in the middle. And, I mean, right now it's not making a circle, obviously. What we're going to do is we're going to change our... Open up your mask by pressing M on your audio layer. Make that to none. Go to your path on your audio spectrum and make it mask one. And now you have a circle of audio -ness. And that's pretty cool. I really hope I'm not... Yeah. Alright. I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, other things that you can do. I'm really sorry this is going this long. You know, it's just... Urgh. Okay, anyways. Now that we got, you know, you got your lines. Say, this is what I want. I'm going to duplicate my audio layer. I'm going to make it side B. And I am going to make my, digi my display from digital to analog lines. And I'm actually going to bring up the thickness just a tad. Maybe like three. Bring the softness to about 45. Because I, I, I like a really technical looking things, I guess you could say. I, got, I don't like really soft looking lines on mine. I like hard things. That's what she said. Oh my god. That's horrible. I just, that's, that, that's horrible. Alright. <clears throat> Another thing you can do is you can go to your digital lines again. Control D and drag it. Drag the new one underneath your current one. Okay. Let me name these really quick so I can have this done at the end. This is going to be my analog lines. Analog goes first. This one's going to be my digital. And this one's going to be my dots. Yeah. So make your bottom layer dots on side A. And you're not going to notice them straight away, so what you want to do for that and uh, make your max height, you know, maybe about 300, 400 over what your other one is. Or if you want to higher, go right ahead and do that. Um, you can make the thickness higher if you want as well. And maybe change the color, you know, something that you know, stands out or just mess with the hue interpolation. Um, I'm actually going to change that color because that is a no bueno in my book. Okay. We got some greens and a red. It's Christmas time. Um, and now you got, you know, a, I want to say combobulation. <laughs> I don't think that's the right word. I think I heard that in some Dr. Seuss book. So, we're goofy here. We can reuse that shit. Um, you know. But I mean, that's a, that, that can look really cool. Now you can, you know, put a logo in the middle, put some text in there, um, you know, do whatever you want, um, you know, change the colors around, animate it just a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this. Um, there is a thing to do with some CC force motion blur on your analog line <sighs> but I kind of don't trust mine sometimes I don't trust it uh, if you bump it up you know really high as you guys can see you're gonna get some like reverberations I guess you could say since we're messing around with music um, and if you're doing this I would dump down the thickness just a tad to about one and now we're going to have like a reverberating analog line which is going to make it really technical. So this is kind of something you want to use if you're using like a trippy ass song or you know you just if you're using, I don't know, you see these things in movies, I know you do. I don't know exactly what tool or you know display they're on but they're usually on a computer whenever they're listening in on something from space or whether it be underneath the water because water makes reverberations and that's kind of how you want to do it and I mean, you can bump it up, bump it down, I don't care, just make it look cool. That's all I ask. 
basically it's kind of like that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. And that is it. I don't know why I always say it's basically it. That is it. This is really as far as I can really, you know, show you guys right now. You know, I'm not a master at this thing. Um, but that shit, oh man, excuse my language. That looks awesome. I love that. This is possum is awesome. Um, but that's, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. So if you guys are thinking about starting a music channel, go do this. Especially the last part. Do that, uh, do the force motion blur. Because that's, that, that looks awesome. I love that. Um, oh, radar. There we go. A radar. That's what the analog lines are on. Or the, uh, what I was just talking about. But anyways, now that I got that out of the way. Hopefully you guys learned whatever you wanted. Uh, if you have any questions, post down below. I will answer any question that you guys have, no matter how dumb or not dumb it is. I don't know. Um, if you guys have a request, PM me or hit me up on Skype or Twitter. I, I will do any tutorial you guys request, as long as I have the program. And I know, you know, I figure out, you know, what the hell I'm doing. I don't know. I will do any tutorial you guys request, and you guys will get a shout out, so start requesting, get that shout out, and you'll get to learn something new too. So, as, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.